Hey folks, Kellen Nitro for Nitro Maniac TV's Drag Files channel, and of course you've heard the news by now that legendary drag racer Tom the Mongoose McEwen passed away, uh, would be a couple of days ago as this video goes up, I'm uploading it on a Wednesday, uh, he was 81 years old, uh, man what a legend, what an icon, and you've heard uh, stories about his career by now, and that's of any hardcore drag racing fan will know about the impact and the career that this guy has had. Um, next to John Force, Tom McEwen is my favorite drag racer of all time. Uh, I'm fortunate to own a lot of the memorabilia that uh, his company Prestige Hobbies and uh, of a few other places have produced uh, throughout the year, uh, years and decades I should say. Uh, you can take a look at uh, this quick little slideshow of photos that I got uh, kind of overlaid right now at some of the stuff that I own, including this wicked awesome uh, 1 16th scale 57 Chevy Nitro Funny Car Replica. Uh, I got to meet the Goose once. I was very young. This was back in the wild and woolly days of the legendary AHRA World Finals uh, drag race in Spokane, Washington. Uh, I was very young, I was probably about seven or eight years old uh, when this photo was taken, and you can take a look at it, and uh, Goose was there with his 57 Chevy, I think it was the last year of the 57 Chevy, so I want to say it was like 1992, that he ran it before he sold it to Danchuk, and Danchuk still has that funny car on display uh, in its store, and it occasionally pops out at SEMA, I guess, and that stuff from all stories and that and everything, but... Uh, the dude was really cool, in fact, uh, him and John Force, we used to camp right in the pits, and him and John Force, I think, after the Friday or the Saturday session, came over, and I'm eight years old, I'm, you know, didn't have video games or anything back then, so had uh, Hot Wheels and that stuff, and Goose stops by, and this golf cart hops out and says, hey kid, nice Hot Wheels, so, <laughs> and I used to have a whole bunch of little funny cars, and that's what still do, as you can tell from the photos. Uh, all of them when I was like a kid and everything, so uh, still a real awesome dude. Um, fortunate enough to actually own a few signed uh, prints from him too, some of the 8x10 hero cards and everything in my collection as well. Uh, I should post some of those one of, those, one of these days and uh, show you guys for sure, but uh, indeed a big loss, a tragic loss for sure. Uh, he was one of the big ones. He's one of the big uh, forefathers of the sport along with Garlitz, uh, on the Snake Prudhomme, and uh, foremother of the sport, Shirley Muldowney as well, uh, you know, and uh, it's a thing where I don't think his legacy will, uh, you know, die down anytime soon. I think the guy will live on for years, uh, of course, with the movie Snake and Mongoose that came out a few years ago. I have a review about that on this channel if you haven't seen it. Uh, I'll link it in the description below so you can take a look at it. But, uh, you know, rest in peace and thank you for the memories, Mongoose. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a sad deal, but uh, he's a legend and an icon. He'll remain that way in, in the hearts of many and, uh, of course, for his fan base going forward. So, uh, normal uploads resume tomorrow. just want to take some time out to acknowledge this, but... Uh, Thank you, Mongoose, for everything you've done for the sport and for helping lead to where it is today. Uh, God bless you, sir, and uh, Godspeed. All right, later days. Happy drag racing watching, folks. We'll see you, and uh, go binge watch some Tom McEwen uh, footage on YouTube and that stuff, and you'll see how, influence, how influential, I should say, this guy is. Uh, just an incredible talent and uh, a real salesman for the sport, and he could drive the wheels off a funny car, too. Uh, go watch the 78 U.S. Nationals if you're not sure about that because, uh, man, dude flat had himself a day with that Corvette. All right. Later, guys.